everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion's Deepening Obsession with the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We skip uh, Azazel, but we're not on Azazel yet. We're on uh, Samson first. Last run, too easy to even talk about. 9KLK28H. I don't know what it is. It seems like when Cobalt has a decent streak going on, Northern Lion gets a decent streak going on. It's like the checksum that... Um, Oh my god, what am, like, that's what I'm talking about right there, man. We got Capricorn in our first item room. It's like the checksum that uh, generates the seeds, or at least validates the seeds that get generated, is like, well, it's getting to the end of August. You know, people are going to be going back to school soon. Summer's over. That makes people sad. I'm going to give you a secret. It makes me very happy. Um, but, uh, you know, let's give them some Capricorn in the first item room. Let's give them some Brimstone. Inevitably, I know some people are going to be like, wow, Northern Lion, that's very selfish that... You know, you would be happy that summer vacation is over because you're not in school. Let me give you the lowdown here. I don't have kids, so it's not like, oh, like, I can understand why parents are happy when summer vacation's over. You love spending time with your kid, but, you know, I have cats, and my cats are annoying sometimes, and it's nice to get away uh, from my cats. I'm just going to head straight down to the next floor. We got good momentum. Hopefully, we'll get an arcade with that money from Pageant Boy, and then, then it's not a complete wash. Um... So I can understand if you go from, like, your, your kids being home for, like, a few hours a day, um, you know, like, home and interacting for a few hours a day, to your kids being around all the time and probably bugging the shit out of you, which is a little bit what you sign up for with parenthood. But anyway, um, that, that can be annoying, and it's relieving to have them go back to school. Plus, they're bettering themselves, you know, education's important, blah, 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 all that nerd shit you don't want to hear me say. Um, but, for me, here's how I, I, I don't like people, and it's, it's weird to say that. I like individuals most of the time. I'm, I actually, I, I can be a pretty social person. I'm not uh, extroverted necessarily, but I, I, I consider myself a pretty good talker. I don't get it, you know, necessarily always anxious when I meet a stranger or something like that. And I, if I may do my own horn a little bit, people seem to like me for whatever reason. I, I think I interact in a generally affable way. However, more than one person together, especially if they're strangers, is a goddamn death sentence for me. I hate it. Um, I hate going to the grocery store, you know, I hate going to Costco, I hate, I hate going anywhere. Tech point five? And that's true. And even at PAX, I'm like, it's PAX, I'm so excited for PAX. And then when I'm at PAX, I'm like, oh my god, there's so many people, what have I done? Why can't you just please walk faster? I, I beg you. You can find this commercial on YouTube, you don't need to stand here and watch it and impede a thousand people behind you. But, um, anyway, that's that's because I'm a little bit of an asshole, I guess. I'm a little bit of a snob, and I don't even mean in, like, that kind of rakish, like, you know, d d Captain Jack Sparrow kind. Sometimes I can just, my internal monologue sometimes is really dickish. I think that's true for a lot of people, but I'll own up to it. Um, anyway, I don't wish you will on those people, but I get around that because I have a job. Where I, I can grocery shop when I want. If I want to grocery shop at 1 p.m. on a Tuesday, no problem. And in September through to May, oh, you have never grocery shopped until you grocery shop at 1 p.m. on a Tuesday. There's nobody there. Nobody's standing in front of like they're, they're in like the frozen food aisle being like, what flavor of frozen pizza should I get? Pepperoni? All right, I'll pick up pepperoni. No, put it back down. There's a ham and three cheese one here. Maybe I'm interested in the ham and three cheese. Let me check the coupon. Oh, the coupon only says it's good for Hawaiian, but I don't really like Hawaiian. And then you've run into the same person in the checkout line and they're like, you know, does this coupon work for non-Hawaiian pizzas? And then the cashier has to be like, Oh, I don't know, I gotta call somebody, can we get a check? And then, you know, they go, Oh, can we get a coupon check on, uh, you know, check out aisle three? And then the person takes 20 minutes to show up, and you're like, Oh my god, this is all over a freaking pizza. By the way, I'm not shitting on coupon culture, you know? Save money, be frugal, doesn't matter to me. But it is an impediment at a lot of times. And, you know, it, it's time, that's time wasted for me, for, for everybody behind you. However, that's not the point. Grocery shopping at 1 p.m. on a Tuesday is just like... It's like grocery shopping at 2 a.m. on a Tuesday. It's beautiful. There's nobody there. You're in and out. You can get $100 worth of groceries in five minutes. You know? Oh, no deal with the devil here. And yet, the, the game has been so kind. Two I can see forevers. As to give me just like the easiest floors of all time. I didn't even have to focus on conversation about the game at all there. Which is perfect for me. More HP. And maybe a secret room back here that we can take advantage of. Yep. Um... And that's the same with, like, uh, you know, Kate and I go to amusement parks occasionally. Going to an amusement park, when we were lucky enough to be in Japan in January, like the dead of winter. So even still, when we went to, like, Tokyo Disney Sea, which is the big Disneyland in, in Tokyo, it was super busy. Super busy. Like, 
20,000, 30,000 people. But anyway, we went to Canada's Wonderland when we were in Toronto this summer, and it's like, oh my god, this is an oppressive amount of people. So I'm not happy that other people are losing their vacation. I don't take schadenfreude, however you say it. I have my apologies there. Um, I don't I don't take pleasure in the fact that other people are maybe, you know, going back to school that they're not really a big fan of, or, you know, they're, they're losing out on their summer job that is the source of their, their fun money or something like that. Trust me. That's, that's not the guy I'm trying to be. But it does, it assuages my anxiety to know that I, I have my 1 p.m. grocery shops back. It's not going to be filled with, like, 500 people. The nearby McDonald's is not going to be, you know, swamped at 11 a.m. with a bunch of families doing a road trip to Alaska. And again, that's your right. As, as humans, you, we share the Earth. I really should have just used I Can See Forever. We share the Earth. I'm not telling you not to go on uh, vacations with your family. I'm mostly just saying I'm glad that it's over so that, you know, the, the Earth comes back to me, back where it belongs. <laughs> That's the subtext, apparently, of what I was getting at there. I know, I recognize that that makes me sound a little bit snobby, but I, I, I think a lot of people feel the same way, you know? It's not really misanthropic. It's just like sometimes, sometimes a lot of human beings are annoying. Like, I don't mean like a lot of people individually are annoying, but yes. Um, I just mean that, like, crowds of people are frustrating to deal with. It takes you longer to do things. Anybody being inconsiderate gets amplified by the number of people that it inconveniences. It's better this way. It's better this way. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed, um, you know, if, if you still have a summer vacation, cherish it. I hope you enjoyed it. I don't care if you did anything productive. You know, you had time to do something productive. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. I remember being in, like, 8th grade and 9th grade. 10th grade, uh, also still to this day, every summer, you know, you'd be like, fuck it, man, I got, like, two months off, I'm gonna get jacked, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do push-ups all day, every day, and when I come back to school, I'm gonna be, like, so buff, and then, you know, it gets to, you're like, well, okay, I, I can take, like, the first week off, I work hard in school, goddammit, I, you know, why don't I just take a week off, you deserve to take a week off, that'll help you get more momentum for the future, because you'll be well rested, and then it's like, well, my friend's birthday parties this week, of course we're gonna have some pizza, and you know, oh, it's movie night, alright, we're gonna get some popcorn, and then, you know, it gets to be like the last week of August, and you ride your bike for half an hour, and you're like, there you go, that compensates for a whole summer of not exercising. And it doesn't just apply to exercise, you know, I'm sure, it, it's like a New Year's resolution, man, it often falls apart, but I, I hope you've had a good summer. And again, I, I can't stress enough, cherish it, man, if you've, uh... One day, one day it'll be gone. I still remember having summer vacations, and um, I, I didn't make the most of them, but I did enjoy them. So I, I hope that that's the same for you. You don't want to look back and be like, oh, I fucking wasted it, you know? Don't be one of those youth is wasted on the young people. Be, you know, make, uh, do not go gentle into that good night. With, to you, with flailing hands, we throw the torch, be yours to hold it high. If ye make peace with us who die, we shall not sleep, though uh, poppies blow in Flanders fields. Anyway. That was a very strange choice of poem for um, that particular moment of pseudo-inspiration. You want to talk about where we are in The Binding of Isaac Rebirth? This has been like the fastest, best, most completely unnoteworthy run ever. Item rooms, uh, Capricorn, Tech Point 5, Infamy. It's great, got good damage. No deals with the devil, no useful shops. Um, and pretty much like nothing to, nothing to comment on except for the fact that the game has been very kind with its random number generation and is... Working out nicely, uh, very thankfully, to hook us up with high damage. You know, I'm hoping that maybe we get an arcade that we can swing here so we have a better chance to maybe get IV bag. Mr. Boom is our spacebar item. Nothing special about that whatsoever. Pill rotation has been okay. Like, if I had to grade this run, I'd give it like a solid eight, eight and a half right now. The only thing stopping it from being a 10 is, uh, well, th the only thing stopping it from hitting that nine level is deal with the devil precedent, and the only thing stopping it from being, you know, nine and a half, ten territory is uh, maybe a couple of great deal with the devil items, or honestly, because we were playing as Samson, we could probably make do with uh, with IV bag as well. We got a lot of HP to work from here. Having uh, low amounts of deals with the devil doesn't really matter that much as long as we can get IV bag and get to save our HP to use on IV bag. I mean, we keep picking up. Items that are pretty good. This is even a deal with the devil item right here. I think the game maybe misheard me slightly, but that's okay. You know, life goes on. Headless Baby is a, a completely acceptable pickup. Wouldn't go so far as to necessarily say great, but good. Yeah, I, I do think Headless Baby is good. I don't think it's overrated or underrated. I think most people probably uh, probably place it right about where it belongs. Another shop where pretty much we're only going to be concerned with buying consumables inside of it, but it's not a bad thing. We picked up uh, 
a Spirit Hearts. And, oh, well, I guess I should mention as well, we got BFF, which I don't know if it actually helps Headless Baby, but it's just one of those, you know, you should buy it so you don't regret not buying it if you get some other familiars later. I, uh, I hate myself right now. I know we have Mr. Boom. Why am I not using Mr. Boom? You know what? Fuck it. You did it. You, you broke my will. Are you happy? Yes! That's, that's my impression of the personification of the troll engine. Tears down. Tears of a clown. Anyway. Yes, I've been listening to, to Pimp a Butterfly a little bit. And I'm, I, why would I be ashamed of that? God damn it. It's a classic album. I mean that sincerely. Now, out of all these uh, possible choices, oh, I, oh, I did it fine. I think that this is the right way to handle this. We get, we, we can't play three times for the price of a half heart. I've tried it many times. Unless I'm missing out on something, I don't believe it's possible. Uh, I think this is our, our best of all worlds. We already had uh, Demon Baby pay out. Range up, health down, tears down. I can see forever, we might as well pop. Now we'll go hard on the blood bank. You know, do we have the speed necessary, you think, to hit both at the same time? No. So we want, like, ideally, IV bag, sorry, blood bag followed by IV bag would be fantastic. We're still doing well on time here. This is uh, Caves 2. We want to be out of here by about 10 minutes. So we're slowing down. I think that's okay. As long as we're, you know, conscious of the fact that this is something we're doing and it's something we want to do, this is fine. We're gaining a lot of money in the process as well. We just gained blue map, which is sweet. Um, are you a wizard? Tears down. We'll stick with tears down for now. Wish we had just a little bit more speed. Use Mr. Boom to blow up Key Beggar, because I don't want to play it even accidentally. And we should have a really nice damage bonus, if nothing else. This doesn't count as Red Heart damage. The only thing that's risky now is, is if we put ourselves in a position where I take a little bit of random damage, and all of a sudden I'm right up against death. But, you know, the idea is that at some point, you get maybe something to augment that, something to make that less of a concern. Maybe a Blood Bag, for example. Just a theory. Wow, that is unexpected! We just got Dry Baby and Ghost Baby from Adjacent Skulls. Which also is a, the name of a fucking sweet action movie that has not been made yet. Adjacent. Steven Seagal and Chuck Norris are Adjacent Skulls. It's kind of like that time in Heat that Robert De Niro and Al Pacino were in the movie. But it, it, maybe like a little bit less prestigious, but not that much. But you know, you know what you're getting into, let's put it that way. It's Adjacent Skulls. That's the tagline of the movie. Well, you know what you're getting into. That should be the tagline of every Steven Seagal movie. I would really like to find an opportunity to play Mr. Boom, but I guess it's not going to be that necessary here, because Tech Point 5 just tore him apart here. I don't know how, um... How Dry Baby is affected by... Oh, we... What? Okay. I don't know how Dry Baby is affected by BFF. If it causes extra damage, that'd be pretty sweet. Mostly, I guess I'm hoping now for some... Yeah, that's fine by me. I'm hoping for some Red Heart so we can go back to our uh, Blood Bank and get something out of it, but... We've already been there, I think. It's like, uh, Deal with the Devil is the other thing that's on my to-do list, if we can swing it. We really should get a Deal with the Devil. Could be Crampo. And if it is... I'm gonna be fine with it, honestly. I, I would replace what we have with whatever Krampus gives us. Obviously, Lump of Coal wouldn't replace anything. It would just be a nice uh, addition to our run, but... Um, barring that... But you know what? Let's just hope we get like something that's actually good instead. That might be better. Little Chad, as far as I'm concerned, is totally fine. That was a really easy fight, and... Uh, we did get a deal with the devil. Little Chad, I wish I'd gotten a little earlier on the floor, but that's okay. And... You know, I, I think we take Death's Touch in addition to uh, Brother Bobby. I mean, obviously we're going to take Death's Touch, but I think we take Brother Bobby in addition to Death's Touch for the extra uh, damage from BFF. That's my philosophy on that. You know what? I think I'm just going to head down to the next floor. I gave you a chance to show up, IV Bag, and you, uh, you, uh, you treat you like a princess, and you stab me in the back. Okay. Well, let's head down. Death's Touch is going to help out our damage quite a lot. We finally have Deal with the Devil precedent. Is it a 10 out of 10 run yet? No, but we're in... We're definitely in like 9.5 territory. Now the only thing we're lacking is HP. I keep, you know, trading one, one problem for another problem, but this problem is a better problem to have. Because you actually don't need HP to succeed. You know, you can choose one to not have. 
You can choose to not have HP or you can choose to not have damage. It's all about whether you'd Radley or whether you'd Radley. It's all about whether Boo Radley uh, was indeed the, you know, um, Deus Ex Machina. I think we, we're better off with Maggie's Faith. Uh, in, uh, of course, Harper Lee's classic novel, To Kill a Mockingbird, or if perhaps he's just a, I don't know what I'm talking about, a Chekhov's gun! Which I said in my shitty William Shatner impression for reasons unbeknownst, some kind of intellectual priming or something. Okay. Teleportation cards, anything to replace tears down. Or, you know, black hearts would also not be bad. This summer, adjacent skulls won't be bad. Are you... I think I killed your friend. Your friend is dead. It's just the two of us now. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. You win, Scry. I don't know why I decided to throw on my uh, N64 Smash Bros. era Link impression there. Absolutely. Absolutely, I'll take them up on this deal. I think Cursed Eye gets a bad rap, and God damn it, if they need a brand ambassador, I'm willing to do it. There's double keys. You can teleport. We got Hagalas. Oh! You're being covered by the bullshit! I don't support that. Um, Emperor card. Pretty important, I think. Might end up uh, giving us a deal with the devil that we don't have to fight too much for, which I appreciate a lot. Oh. Like on Womb 1, if we're in a really bad position HP-wise, we can just teleport to the deal with the devil and sort it out. Uh, we're still going to pick up our money. There's no reason not to. We can also use this to get out of a deal with the devil if we wanted to. Not a deal with the devil, sorry. We can use it to get out of boss rush is what I mean to say. Well, hopefully that turns out well. I actually thought this was a room full of pins. You're just still, like, trucking along there, huh? All right, yeah, well. Wherever you go, whatever you splooge, I will be right here waiting for you. Tell you what, we're gonna take this. I don't, I don't care about Sharp Plug in this situation. We don't have to wait for her or anything. Better to save our money to buy Spirit Hearts in the future, sadly. Um, but Blank Heart Emperor is like pretty sweet. I'm not gonna use it on this floor. Because I think we still have an outside chance at being able to use it to get out of boss rush while still keeping blank card, which I think is very valuable. We've seen everything of value on this floor that is expected. I know there's a key back there. We do have to speed up just a little bit now. Alright, now would be an awesome time to actually fight Krampus. Put us a little bit behind on time, but the extra damage from Cursed Skull uh, Lump of Coal would be awesome. The extra speed here is really nice. That's not Krampus, that's Judas's Shadow! Insert air horns there. Um, so I'm going to kill myself to take advantage of Judas' shadow. I know we lose the HP in the process there. Doesn't bother me. I want the HP. I'm going full HP build here. We could Emperor card to fight the boss. Or sorry, we could blank card to fight the boss on this floor. Mom, of course. And then uh, use the regular Emperor card to leave boss rush. But I think that's kind of a short-sighted play. We, we should be able to do it anyway. Uh, like we should be able to accomplish this anyway. Unfortunately, I can't teleport out of here, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because I like our damage. I think our damage right now is amazing, so... I'm going to take advantage of that. Tears down is just a freaking joke at this point. That's what you are. One PhD, and all of a sudden, you know, Cursed Eye charges in a quarter of a second or something like that. Oh, I almost took damage. Thanks a lot, Infamy. You cost me my damage bonus, you, you cheeky fuck. Range up. That's very important. I'm joking. I mean, it's not not important, but... Telepills. Nah, we stick with Blank Card Emperor for now, because I don't want to risk getting an error room and fucking it up a little bit. 17 minutes. You know what? We've covered a lot of ground in the floor so far, so I'm not really worried. First off, if we don't get the boss rush, you know, no skin off my scrot, we're fine. Is that a Tinto? Still sounds like some kind of Star Wars insult every time I say it. It makes me uncomfortable. It's, it's at odds with my Canadian nature. Thank you for popping up eventually. Um, wait, was there another Tinted Rock? I don't know why. My brain keeps being like, okay, that's not a Tinted Rock. What about that one? Is that a Tinted Rock? 
Sad Onion, that's actually a huge help. Would be expecting to fire Tech Point 5 a little bit more in the meantime. Oh, don't make me reroll my whole run. I don't desire it. We have not... Well, I would have done it, I'm just saying. But it's been a long time since we've had to reroll our whole run. I don't know if I should say that I appreciate that or I'm disappointed, but either way, you know, it is the truth. Thank you for the spirit heart. I think this decision to kill ourselves for Judas' shadow has ended up being a, a pretty prudent one. Very smart. Astute. As long as we don't die, you know, then we never have to face the fact that maybe sometimes it's not the right decision to kill yourself right away for Judas' shadow. For now, I can continue to live in a very convenient world of, uh... Gross generalizations, where, oh, Judas' shadow, 100% of the time is worth taking. Eventually, we'll come to that more nuanced reality, I'm sure, but not yet. I take comfort in this. Remember when I thought Judas' shadow, you fucker? Remember when I thought Judas' shadow was a bad item? Not bad, but like, I don't get it. I just want you to know that I hate myself right now. Um... We should still be able to do boss rush. There's no excuse for getting hit twice there. That's just embarrassing. We won't be donating on this run because I gotta go. I gotta go. But I do want to go to our shop because a compass or something could be pretty... Well, could be a little valuable. There we go. Got him. Oh, no. Well, that actually ended up being really fast. So, I'm not going to sweat. I still think we probably have 30 seconds before we have to start sweating. And that's what I figured is that our boss is going to be right here anyway. Okay. I don't care if we get hit. That's our creep. All right, let's do it. That's our creep. The new hit ABC family based sitcom featuring a CGI John Ritter. That's not a joke about the death of John Ritter. That's a joke about ABC's uh, sitcoms being so tired that they actually are reanimating a, a star's corpse to be in them. Two keys? All right, yeah, I'm sure. Oh, wee. Nine lives. Pretty much just a raw HP increase there. Um, people are gonna want me to take Dad's key, but I don't. I don't really see the point, honestly. And, and I mean that sincerely. I don't see the point because I, I want to take Blank Card Emperor to kind of set an impressive time here. Mega Satan is Mega Satan, all right. I've gone. I've gone down this path more times than I'd care to admit. But I think the Mega Satan fight is kind of overrated for its absurdity. People are always like, I'll be like, well, do you want to see me do the chest literally like thirty times in a row? Get the most ridiculous item combinations that the game can have. And basically just like trap myself in a state of perpetual awesomeness. Or would you rather see me fight Mega Satan and kill him in like 35 seconds? And people are often like, yo, Mega Satan. I don't know what it is. Maybe once Mega Satan gets uh, incentivized, I'll, I'll see it as less of like a, a gimmick. But for right now, I'm not that, uh, I'm not that invested in the, in the Mega Satan meta right now. I'm gonna keep moving on. We only got like three rooms to do before I can teleport anyway. I mean, this is the thing is that the rest of the game should be very quick. And also, allow me to just say like a brief word of thanks. Not to a person. No, that would, uh, that would expose my true emotions and make me thus vulnerable. No, allow me to say thank you to an inanimate item. Uh, thanks, a oh, trinket, sorry. Thanks a lot to uh, Maggie's Faith for buffing us up HP wise here and, and making my life even easier on this run than it otherwise would have been. Thank God we got all those range ups, right? Saving the day right now. Damage, you know, not quite where I'd like to have it right now. Hopefully we get some cool damage upgrades on the chest, or cool tear effects. Cricket's body would be an awesome one if we could get it. But apart from that, like, this is, you know, someone made a crack to me on Twitter that was like, uh, you know, I've been watching your Isaac runs lately. Holy crap, what is it, like sub 35 month or something like that? I don't know what it is, but we have been having, you know, there's been an occasional long run. But a lot of our runs lately have just been really fast. I mean, obviously this one is kind of an an obvious uh, quick one because of Blank Art Emperor, but it it has been uh, it's been a quick month. I can't complain. Generally, that's the way I prefer to play. It's the way I prefer to to do things in in my in my life, which I know leaves me uh, open to a very easy joke there. But you know, even when I'm playing like Magic or something like that, I don't want to have a long drawn out game where I'm like, Oh, you almost had lethal, but check out my spell card. Like, I've got, uh, I've got an enchantment that gives me lifelink when you blah 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 blah. If you're that kind of person, yo, fuck you. No, I'm just, I'm being rude for no reason. Um, I prefer to be like, turn one, summon a one mana creature. Turn two, summon a two mana creature. Turn three, one of us is dead. Like, the math, the momentum and the math are too strong. And if it's me, that's fine, man. 
Live by the speed, die by the speed. I think that's printed on uh, Keanu Reeves' tombstone. Don't mess with me, I've been to the future. This isn't how I go. Dope Albert Finney reference, Northern Lion. Thanks, Northern Lion. Big Fish was a big uh, influence on me during my formative years. I know, because I am you. Finn. Okay. PhD. Anti-grab. Anti-grab, Death's Touch, Cursed Eye. It's very weird. PhD, finally. Gives us explosive diarrhea. Well, I don't think you're a doctor at all, mister. Dr. Taco Bell. See, there's a joke in there about Taco Bell giving you diarrhea. But I do want to point out to our corporate overlords, I've never eaten a Taco Bell. Um, not out of a snobbiness or anything. Just uh, if it's attached to a KFC, I'm always getting a big crunch combo. So I don't necessarily believe that your food causes uh, gastrointestinal distress. I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm doing what the young kids call memeing. And uh, I'm sorry. Because if this causes uh, damage to your business, then I feel bad. Because I'm just being a poser, basically. I've never had a cheesy gordita crunch, a Doritos Tacos Locos, a Cuevos Rancherita. I've never had any of these. A Marga Cinnamon Twist. Never been there. Um, I've never had uh, Fries Supreme with uh, freshly cut queso. I've never had a lot of these things, you know? I've never had any bean burrito. You know, I've never had a, a Cinco Cheese quesadilla. Quesarito, sorry. Quesachilada. At the queso, quesachilada. I wish that rhymed with the aorta. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. We're like 22. That's pretty exciting, man. I think we're back with a Lazarus run next. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.